Ken of Miranda. He's been playing well for the three games. Ngayon will be given a big test, no? Right at the start, he will be matched up against the uh, veteran Olsen Rosella. Ang ating uh, opisyales uh, ngayong uh, hapon, Boy Cruz is the Supreme Court Justice kasama si Wilbert Kulanag at si Jong Nicolás. This ball game is underway. Battle for first place, ha? Itong uh, labanan na ito, uh, parehong nasa ibabaw ng team standings ang uh, Coca-Cola at San Miguel. Pero panging Coca-Cola lamang ang pupunan na hindi pa nakakatikim ng talo dito sa Philippine Cup. Larry Siegel against Will Antonio. Will Antonio, if you will remember, used to play uh, for uh, San Miguel as Coca-Cola gets his first crack at the basket. Miranda over to Antonio. Entry pass para kay Ali Pink. And you have to expect uh, people to help out uh, defending Ali Pink. Dahil uh, kung one-on-one ang usapan, he has been unstoppable. There's Will Antonio. Virtually unnoticed. Pero dun sa mga uh, sumusunod sa statistics, ano, napapansin po itong si Antonio. Hey, well, if you're playing itong Cook, uh, if you're scouting Cook, eh, talaga oh, uh, kailangan mapapansin nyo itong uh, si uh, Will Antonio. That was a great pass coming from uh, Ali Pink Karina. One point ball game in favor of uh, Coca Cola, three to two. And over a minute having gone by, and there's Miranda. Dennis Miranda with a basket. So na ba na ng confidence itong si Dennis Miranda. So start pa lang ng game, all net. Benya, Osigo, ten and a half to go in the opening quarter, three point lead for the Tigers. Here's Octaveros. Danny! Octaveros for three! Alam mo, dito, simula pala, shootout na between these two squads. Kulang ata sa Briette itong si Boyet Season. Boyet, of course, is our Coliseum Barker. Ba't tinawag pa namang Danny si Don? Here's Antonio, bounce pass for Peek. Peek. Nowhere to go. Top shot and the ball ends up with Rasella. Side ball game at five points apiece. Rasella trying to shake off uh, Miranda. Rasella goes to Antiveros with 13 to shoot for San Miguel. And that's an offensive foul again. Still Defonso. A uh, good call there by the referee. Talaga namang uh, uh, offensive foul yun ni uh, Dani. Pero alam mo, ang dami na tatanong. Bakit kaya itong uh, nananalo no, at the start of the conference? They were not really favored to be on top uh, dito sa ating uh, conference pero they're really doing it based on their defense they're the number one defensive team right now only allowing about 74 points of a game uh, yung score ng opponent sila so I mean uh, basketball is not really about offense as you see their good offensive move by John Arigo John Arigo scoreless yan in their last outing of course my partner here knows a thing or two about defense because that's all he has. <laughs> yes, Danny Siegel, no, sir. At yung riba na punta kay Ali Peek as we near the nine-minute mark of the opening quarter. Tigers up by two points. And here's Dennis Miranda, quarterbacking. Good matchup here uh, with a veteran, uh, Rasella. Here's Arigo on the right side. Arigo on the move. Arigo... Nahanap si Antonio and uh, not that time para kay Will Antonio. Still a good shot there. Good pass coming from John Arigo. Open jumper. High low play and Peña is blocked by Pink. One more try. Still no go. There's that defense that you were talking about, Richard, on the part of Coca-Cola. And that's a trademark naman talaga ng kanilang coach, si Coach Binky Favis. No? Uh, a lot of coaches were telling me no, when uh, Coach Binky handled the squad, you can expect Coca-Cola to be a very good defensive team dahil yan talaga ang forte niya. Even, even, as a play, even when he was a player, yes. Binky was one of the peskiest customers around. Yes, that's right. I, I played with uh, Coach Binky for a couple of years in Nasal before he transferred to uh, UST. At uh, talagang uh, very, ano yan eh. Uh, sabi nga nung player niya, si Gerard, nakausap ko eh. Very strict nga eh. Mabusisi masyado. Especially in practices when it comes to their defense. Antonio, offensive rebound, and the putback is a good start here. Huh? Para kay Will Antonio, meron siyang uh, isang TM3. And now he has a total of five points, giving uh, Coca-Cola a four-point lead. 
you really have to locate Will Antonio on the defensive points. Nice average in seven rebounds a game for his team. Antiveros. El Defonso. Naubusa na ng oras dito. Ang San Miguel for the shoot. El Defonso forces one up. And Will Antonio nakakuha ng rebound. Antonio over to Miranda. Miranda on the right side. Miranda cross court. Antonio against Danny Siegel. Peek to Arrigo. Babalik kay Peek. Out the repost. So, subukan ngayon ni Peek on defense ni Peña. He slices through and he won't connect. As we near the seven minute mark of the opening quarter. Abat ang hinahabol dito ng San Miguel. Beerman entered the ball game with two wins and one loss. It's a nice pass coming from Seagull and an easy quitter para kay Ildefonso. And great position there by Danny Ai. Medyo nakalusot siya doon, no? Against the defense of uh, Rafi Rivas. We're nearing the halfway mark of uh, the opening quarter. Peak with the basketball. Pinasa kay Arrigo with three to shoot. Arrigo from long distance in and out. Beerman down by two. Rasela, Tim Defonso, and the basket almost drops. That would have counted. Pero may dalawang free throws. Si Il Defonso. Great pass there by Molson Rasela. Everybody thought he would be going for that shot. Pero si uh, Daniel Defonso rin. Maganda rin yung ginawa niya noon. No? Talagang was ready to uh, get that pass. Nga lang, di pumasok. Kupas-kupas uh, ang uh, passing ability ni Olsen. Uh, Zil Defonso converts to the first free throw. By the way, si Olsen will be the focal point of our halftime feature. Inyo pong makikita yung napakagandang tahanan ni Olsen Resela. And once again, he would like to clarify, he is not 37 years old. As Sino ba kasi nagkalat no, na 37 years old? As far as I can remember, because uh, you know, we were there, di ba? I think it was Coach Tim Cohn who ah, mentioned that uh, okay, okay. Olsen was 37. He is not 37. He is turning 37. No, no, no. Nakagalit pa rin sa'yo si Olsen yan eh. Ne, ne, ne. Ang katunayan po niyan, Olsen is only... 35. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh, si uh, first person oh, yeah. free throw line. Well, if you ask me, you know, he wants him maybe 35, but you know, he's playing like he's 25. Because, yeah, that's uh, right. Chaka 35 is not old, huh? <laughs> 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 As we swing back to live action. 6 and 10 to go in the opening quarter. One point lead for Coca Cola. And defense on top of the key. Siegel on the right side. Rasella wide open. That's money in the back. Well, that time, wala nag rotate on defense as Denok Miranda helped out on the penetration. Kaya naka libre don si Olsen. Here's Antonio. Napakalinaw. Pinura ni Peek uh, si Peña doon sa Xera. Hindi madaling gawin yun. Pero... At hindi rin mahirap makita pag may tinula. There is absolutely no need to give up a foul. <laughs> well, tell that to the referees, no? Sa speed. <laughs> <laughs> ang ano, ha? Kaya nga siya nangigipagtalo sa mga referees. <laughs> ganyan, ganyan po kabusisi ang defensive philosophy ni Binky. Pero sinasabi nga niya, you have to enjoy the game. But there's only one way for a team to enjoy playing basketball is that is to keep on winning, you know? Nobody enjoys losing. And so far, they're enjoying uh, uh, right now here in this conference as they're the only undefeated squad. Patuloy po ang aksyon dito sa opening quarter. Alin po tayo sa timeout na hiningi ng San Miguel. And Peña will go to the line. Ang foul po ibibigay kay Billy Mamaril. Nakakapasok lang sa ating ball game. Sa tunayan na uh, yung kanyang uh, dakilang ama uh, in the venue. None other than uh, Romulo Mama Mamaril. Alam mo ngayon, parang ang paisipin mo, mas may advantage ang front line itong Coke. Dahil after Ali Peak and Rafi Rivas, meron pa nga silang rest back dyan na si Billy Mamaril. For San Miguel, wala na nga si Nick Velasco. Kaya yung uh, front line nila, they would depend on Dorian Peña and Daniel Defonso. And arguably, si Billy Mamaril can start for any other oh, yes, team. Oh, yes. 
Actually, he was a starter for Coke in the previous conference. Uh, now he's coming off the bench para mas may uh, uh, mas sustain yung uh, Coke pa rin lang na uh, front line. Minsan ano rin yan eh. Uh, madalas na ginagamit ng mga coaches, no? you don't necessarily start your five strongest players. Madalasan magtitira ka ng isa o dalawa na matinik na player to come off the bench. Parang mata mataasan, tumaas din yung bench scoring. Tama yan. Si Minsan nga nagsastart ako eh. Ano ba doon mo ba yun? Ang tawag doon, death wish. Si, ayan, Vicky Fabis once again. Right now, the most successful coach in the Philippine Cup. Nings Noble, dating taga Hinebra, now part of the San Miguel Beermen, replacing Danny Ildefonso. Three-point lead para sa San Miguel. Here's Noble, first touch of the basketball. Pinasa kay Rasela. Rasela for three. Yes, sir! PM press at inside ng bagong PM. Power to the people. I don't care if Olsen turns 55. <laughs> he will always have that sweet shooting touch. Sabi mo nga, walang kakupas-kupas yung passing. Eh, pati shooting, walang kakupas-kupas for Olsen. Here's Antonio. Mamaril. There was the bump on Rasela. Younger body of Mamaril. <laughs> Able to withstand... The personal foul coming from the Grizzle oh, veteran. But it was evident in that play. No, you see, nasabi ka niya in philosophy nila ni Coach Binky Fabis. You have to move the ball around until you find the open man. You get the better shot. Hindi yung first available shot, but the best available shot. That time, Will Antonio already had a clear path to the basket. Pero nakita niya mas maganda yung position ng si Binky Fabis. Montevera sits down at si Bradon Kablay comes in the ball game for uh, San Miguel. As Mamaril cuts down San Miguel's lead to three points. With under five minutes to go in the opening quarter. Siegel. Where is he going? He goes to Rasela. Ten to shoot para sa San Miguel. Noble. Goes to Danny Siegel with six to shoot. Siegel. Scoots past Will Antonio and he knocks it home. Siegel. Uh, Glide in the air of uh, Danny Siegel that time. Teka muna, sabi ni Jong Nicolas, uh, may nakita siyang uh, foul mula kay Peña as we swing over to Eric Reyes. Well, Miko, I spoke with uh, Billy Mamaril kanina at uh, sinasabi nga niya sa akin na he's not really happy with the way he's playing. He's actually, in the past two games, he's been shooting one out of 14. So, pero nakashoot sa kanina, so two out of 15 na yun. Pero yung nga sabi niya sa akin, eh, even if he's not really shooting well, nakakatulong naman talaga sa defense as yun nga yung pinag-uusapin niyo kanina because really, defense really wins a lot of games and alam na alam yan ni Richard. Back to you, Nico. Alam mo rin yan eh. Pero <laughs> 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 I'm sure, eh, hindi nga mat natutuwa si Billy Mamarino sa performance niya. Pero natutuwa siya dahil sila yung top na yun. Wala pa silang talo. I am of course working with two gentlemen who are... Uh, Talaga ng ano tayo, mga designated import defenders. Richard on my right and at court side Eric Reyes. I always say it's not the points that I score, but how many points I prevented my offensive player from scoring. Nung pinabantay natin. Richard, hindi yung pati natagdag, it's how many times you also fouled out of the game. Kaya nga kayo unsung heroes. Here's Will Antonio with two to shoot. You know, his, his confidence level is really at an all-time high. TM3 po yun, at it's ng bagong TM. Power to the people. Second three-point basket by Antonio this afternoon. Kaya naman talaga pinagkakatiwalaan siya ni Coach Biki Fabius with a averaging about 30 minutes a game. And uh, yun mga valuable contribution ni Will Antonio, not only in offense, but also on defense. Three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Top live from the corner. Naboli sinks on. And the ball ends up with Rosella. New shot clock para sa San Miguel. Pero hindi na naghintay si Olsen. Dahil alam niya may mga mama sa loob. Tulad ni Mix Noble. I hope you're a big guy. You have to love it. 2 and 37 to go in the opening quarter. Apat ang hinahabol ng Coca-Cola. Mamaril against Peña. Wainwright from the corner. Inside to Mamaril. So meron na rin tayong changing of the guards here for the Tigers as Johnny Barrientos. Pumasok na kasama si Dale Singson and also Rob Wainwright is there. Also provided big numbers in their last win against Beerfoods. 
Si Calagio kakapasok din uh, sa ating ball game para sa beer men at uh, sabi ni Wilson Galana at Calagio was dancing with the wrong beer So the ball goes back to uh, Coca-Cola. Daniel Defonso is uh, back on the court. Si Peña ay pinaupo muna ni Coach Jong Wichigo. Two-point ball game in favor of San Miguel as we near the last two minutes of the opening quarter. Here's Romari. Johnny A, laban kay Kablay. Abarientos, cross court, Singson, Mamarilla at the post. Five to shoot. Mamaril makes his move. Offensive foul ang tinawag doon dahil tinanggal niya yung kamay doon ni Johnny uh, Odufonso as he was backing, backing up at the post. Nakita-kita no, yun ni Crew Chief Boy Cruz. At marami nang nakitang foul sa kanyang karir ito si Boy Cruz. Uh, Officiating, eh, or he has been officiating for over 10 years now, dito sa PBA. So, hindi ka, hindi ka na pala inabutan, ano? Ah, ibo. Nag-abot yan, nag-abot yan. More than 10 years, you say? More than 10 years. Eh, hindi ka na siguro inabutan. Eh, inabutan ako niya. Ang dami sila wag sa akin pa. Hanggang ngayon nga, sama pa rin ang tingin ko pag pizza. Nakalala mo ba yung ginawa mo dati? Siguro hanggang ngayon, may mga tinatanggi ka pang foul. Minute and a half remaining in the opening quarter. Wayne Dryden with a leather. Dua Barrientos. Two-point ball game in favor of San Miguel and the Tigers with an opportunity to tie the count. Here's Wayne Dryden. Rebound para kay Kablay. Beerman on the run. Kablay steps on the brakes. On to Veros. Maraming oras para tumira dito. Para sa San Miguel. Here's Noble with a basketball. Ten on the shot. Calagio on the move. Calagio over to Il Diponso. Five to shoot. Il Diponso no go. Abarientos with the rebound. And here comes Johnny A. Singso. Wainwright, wide open, all day to shoot. And he knocks it home for a long oh, twitter. And I like the way the Coca-Cola Tigers switch the ball from the strong side to the weak side just to locate the open man. And uh, the shooters have been having a field day. Warning goes to the Delay of game. of game warning on Coach Pinky Favis. Uh, Wilbert uh, Kulana quick uh, to uh, make that uh, call. Uh, begin a warning itong si Coach Binky. And uh, knowing Binky well, might not be, might not be the last uh, for, uh, <laughs> yeah, for the well. game. 36 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Tied ball game at 20. Ito si Kablay ang may tanga ng bola. Kablay laban kay Abarientos. Kablay on the move. John Nicolas making the call here. The first personal against the former PBA MVP, Johnny A. And that call uh, raised a howl on uh, Coach Binky Fabis. That's in Saibu Nga. He thought that was actually good defense. So, okay, maganda rin din yung defense ni Binky doon sa sideline. Eh, oh. Binky Lucas din while he's coaching. Eh, no? Parang 6 on 5. Eh. Maubos na po ang oras dito sa opening quarter. And the Tigers with a good chance to end the first period with the lead. Tombasi Mamarin. Here's Johnny A. Six on Lamay Ontiveros. Six seconds to go in the first quarter. Wayne Wright for the lead. At the ball na po tayong apply. At dyan na po magtatapos. Naglaro din yan para sa Crispa. Kung di ako nagkakamali. Manhattan, Tanduay, pati Zen. Oh. Pero ang diprensya nila, si Mama ay eh, kalahati lang ng timbang ni Billy. Yun na nga eh. <laughs> Exacto kayo sa segue kasi lean and mean rin si Mama <laughs> nung naglalaro siya. Oh, lean si Mama, mean si Mama rin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's uh, Billy, Mama rin, second generation PBA player. Kung tawagin as Abarientos misses the long try. Welcome to the second quarter play. And welcome to our live coverage of the Gran Matador Philippine Cup. Ito po yung uh, tinatawag na All Filipino Conference Pinoy, laban sa Pinoy, laban kung laban. Noble lumaban sa defense ni Mamaril and he converts. A strong move there by Mix Noble, challenging the defense of Billy Mamaril. And a uh, good contribution coming from Mix. 
Nobleme, four points now off the bench. As Mamaril answers back. Mamaril. Binawe, yung two points ni Noble, kaya tabla pa rin tayo, 22 all. Pangitid po natin ang uh, mga unang player dito sa second quarter for San Miguel. They're starting off with Ontiveros, Ildefonso, Noble, Calagio, and Kablay as they look at the first quarter field goals. Here's Kablay. Goes to Danny I with five to shoot. No, sir. Para sa Coca-Cola, they're starting the second period with Johnny A, Wainwright, Rivis, Mamaril, and Singso. Now, people tend to forget uh, in an all Filipino, uh, wala ka ng problema dun sa pagkuha ng mga magaling na import or hindi ka na mamalasin sa pagkuha naman sa isang import na hindi ganun kagaling. And uh, people should remember that back in the uh, Fiesta Conference, these two teams did not exactly get the, <laughs> the best imports of the lot. Ano, eh, kung tutuusin, parang minalas pa nga nila dun sa kanilang mga selection of imports. That is correct. Kaya nga, they were looking forward talaga to this All-Filipino Conference. Oh, and if you look at the local composition of these two teams, talagang formidable talaga yan. So, the Coca-Cola Tigers ended up last. And talagang All-Filipino, you cannot take them lightly. And they're showing that they can play together. It's a great pool of talents. Individual talents can uh, come together and play as one uh, unit, cohesive unit. Peña, laban kay Peak. Two minutes having gone by here in the second period. Here's Kablay, seven to shoot para sa San Miguel. Magmamadali na sila rito. Kablay still has the basketball with three on the shot. La Kablay fires, no go. Tigers down by two. Singson, pinasa kay uh, Abarientos. Abarientos, no go. Ali Peak, he will not be denied. Sakit na ulo talaga every time Ali P gets that offensive rebound because of the amount of space he can carve. That's right. Oh, talagang nawawasiwasin niya yung uh, depensa, eh, no? And I uh, still have to uh, find out, no, kung uh, ba't nagpalit ng number to si Ali P, no? It's number 73 right now. Before, uh, number 2 yan. Tapos ng number 1. Medyo superstitious to si Ali. Eh. There, should, there should be a reason kung bakit 73 ang number niya ngayon. As Arigo misses that jumper, I believe he was asked that question uh, in, a, in a coverage before. And he simply said, well, it's good for one. And that the number. Eh. Oh, and, the, and the other number would probably work better for, uh, for him. <laughs> but, uh, think of a number between 1 and 100. That's the first thing he thought. I wonder though if uh, meron tayong batas dito sa PBA wherein a player must ask for permission. Kasi alam ko sa NBA, if you are going to use a number, I believe that is above 50, kailangan mo humingi ng uh, special permission from the commissioner's office. I think meron. Meron dito. Diba? Oh. As I remember, Dennis Rodman had to uh, obtain special permission. Siyempre, yung number, humingi siyang permiso, yung mga tato, okay lang. <laughs> okay, no? that, is, that is colorful irony. Okay, balik tayo sa ating ball game Under nine minutes to go in uh, the second period. At lamang pa rin ang San Miguel, 24-22. Magandang hapon po sa kanilang lahat. Nico Halili kasama si Richard Del Rosario at Eric Reyes. And we're taking care of uh, TV business uh, dito sa PBA on ABC. Antonio from the corner. Now picked up by Danny I. One to shoot, and it goes! Well, was a switch to the defense of San Miguel, and Will Antonio taking advantage of it as he was matched up against Danny Ildefonso. Side ball game anew at 24. Ang ating ikalimang deadlock. Tenya, hindi niya yung bola, hindi makuha. Seagull, fire, no go. Oh, yung tapik ni Pika, buntik pang pumasok sa maling. Goal. Ito na si Arigo. Arigo with a stretch. And it goes in. Coca-Cola running. No? They love to run. Get some transition basket. After uh, being held scoreless in their last outing. But nonetheless, they still won. 
At uh, may problema dito ang uh, San Miguel. Uh, si Ontiveros picked up his third personal foul. And we're still in the early moments of the second quarter. Two-point lead para sa Coca-Cola, 26-24. Peña hands it over to Siegel. Siegel, babalik in Peña. And Peña with a getaway, may kasama pang foul. You know, I love that pick-and-roll play between Dan Danny Siegel and Dorian yeah. Peña. They really knew what they were uh, going to do in that play. Actually, si Mamarin. Ah, hindi. Ayun, they, they correct the... the no. Kasi sa replay, obvious naman si Antonio talaga. Yes, that's right. Ang earlier announcement was Mamarin. Can somebody give Boyd Season a plate of uh, spaghetti or uh, sandwich? Or, <laughs> wala, wala sa timpla itong si Boyd ngayong hapon. Boyd is once again our Coliseum Barker. Who also moonlights as our radio commentator uh, on Radio PBA. And Ali Peak converts. So, kanina, para lang malinaw si Antonio ang tinawagan ng foul, hindi po si Mamarin. So, action continues here in the second quarter. This is a battle of two hot teams. I think that was a we near the seven-minute mark of the second quarter. Arigo on the move. Arigo, top of the key. Bola na tapik palabas ni Defonso. And that will leave Coca-Cola with five on the shot. Well, good intention on the part of John Arigo. But uh, Dan Defonso, quick. Olsen idolized Hector Calma. Johnny idolized Hector Calma. I, I can't, uh, you know, remember any point guard when I was growing up not wanting to copy the suave, savvy style of Hector on the basketball court. That is correct, no? Not in only point guards. I mean, if you're a basketball player, if you, if you really love the sport, you have to idolize Hector Calma. No? Kaya nga, swerte nito si Denok Miranda, biro mo. He's now under the wings of Hector Calma and Johnny Abariento. So, marami ka talaga matututunan ni Sturawang yan. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. And the steal is not completed. Here's kick for Adrian Lo. With a kick. Oh. Ginawang soccer ball itong si Mamarin. Oh, nga eh. Talagang leading off with his leg. Pero <laughs> si Kiko. Kick. <laughs> so si Danny Siegel again is uh, pinawagan ng foul. Danny Siegel with a uh, new hair. Hindi hair ito, ah. Hair. Talaga nagpatubo na ngayon ng hair, eh. Dati, wala, eh. Pero it's working for him. Ganda talaga nilalaro nito si Danny Siegel. Kasi raw, nalang mong tinanong na yan, eh, sa interview, eh. I think, I don't know if it was Eric or Jay. So, tinatanong, what's with the new hair? Sabi niya, a lot of people have been asking him kung may buhok raw talaga siya. Ayan na, pinapakita na niya, may buhok siya. Bakit po sinasama sa usapan si Eric? <laughs> Kasi, nadinig ko yan, eh. Asa nag-interview? Oh, oh, it's either okay. him or Peter. Or, uh, oh, I don't know. Amang ano. Here's uh, Ali Peek for the shoot para sa Coca-Cola. Oh, nice block. Rejection by Il Defonso. Here's Siegel. Siegel on the move. Top shot. Oh, it goes in. Wow, great pirouette there by Danny Dynamite Siegel. Kiko, Kiko. Yes, Eric. Well, uh, pag buhok ang pinag-uusapan, malamang hindi ako nagtanong nun. Kasi pag yun ang <laughs> oh, pala, topic, hindi ko na itatanong kagad kasi mahalata. Sensitive nga pala yung issue niya sa'yo. <laughs> Pero kay Peter, okay lang. Hindi, <laughs> parang... Ganon din, ganun din yun. Ah, ganon okay. din pa yun. Baka si Jason na nga yung nagtanong. May tawag dyan eh. Busina. Here's uh, Siegel on the free throw line. So far, four points today. And uh, Dynamite Danny has five markers to give San Miguel a two-point lead, 30-28. 
Miranda back at the quarterback spot para sa Coca-Cola. Pinalitan si Johnny A. Here's Peak. Laban kay Peña. Nine to shoot for the Tigers. Adriano with the rebound as we near the halfway mark of the first uh, half. Here's Rasela. Check that halfway mark of the second quarter. Siegel with 11. And the beer men are trying to add to this two point uh, advantage. Rasela trying to shake off the defense. Mamarin with a rejection. To the shoot para sa San Miguel. Adriano nowhere to go. And Adriano was trying to fish for a foul to no avail. That's right. And he was bothered by the defense there of Coach Pinky Favis behind him. Actually, that has been Binky's style. Bola nung siya coach sa UST Juniors, assistant coach sa UST Seniors, naging head coach sa NBA, sa NCAA. Here in his first coaching stint in the PBA, he is uh, off to a rousing start. I think he's going to be able to get the mga naganap in the Fiesta Conference. Dito, sa Philippine Cup, they are number one in sa, sa lukuyan sa ating uh, tournament. As Peña muscles his way inside, still no goal. That's the call here. Against Coke. Against Billy Mamarin. Billy Mamarin. That was a lucky break for San Miguel. I thought it was uh, Dorian Pena would be called for that foul. So si Mamarin at si Ontiveros meron ng tigatlong personal fouls here in the first half. Noble. Adriano on the right side. Tight ball game at 30. A spin by Adriano and a nice oh, pass yeah. para kay Peña. Yeah. Great pass there by Kiko Adriano. Nakuha rin oh, Kiko. Oh. Oh. So four and a half to go in the second quarter. Two point lead for the beer men. 32-30. Kelly. Sa laki talaga ni Peek, eh, hindi mo kasi aakalain na ganoon din siya kabilis. Alam mo, they're trying to take away the left side of uh, Ali Peek. Pero before kasi puro kaliwala talaga si Ali Peek. But he has already developed this game. He knows how to turn to his right and finish the basket with a strong shot. And uh, he just showed that to the defense of San Miguel Beer. Well, you just saw Mamaril forced to go back to the bench uh, with the three personal fouls. So Ali Peek on the line with a three-point play opportunity. The thing I like about Ali Peek, uh, as, uh, as evident in his last game, even if he cannot score the points, he will always give you the rebounds. That's correct, that's correct. Uh, it's uh, second nature to him, man. To grab those defensive rebounds as he was caught there, jumping on the fake by Danny Siegel. But he foul on Ali Peek. At that time, Sipi, the second foul is the second personal. 14 foul up with Coca-Cola. Ang San Miguel po na sa penalty na with four and 16 to go in the second period. Nobody uh, does that move better. The fake, and then you go up for the shot, wait for the contact, and then still put up a decent attempt. So Danny Siegel, one of the best. Yes, that's right. No, at ang uh, key jan, you have to exaggerate the fake. Para talaga ang kalayo ng defender mo na ititira mo na yung bola. And that's what he did in that particular play. Danny Ay on the right. And the rookie, Mark Kong, uh, making his first entry in the ball game. Si Noble at si Peña ay magpapahinga muna. Second free throw for Dynamite Danny. Always good to uh, see Danny Siegel healthy and in action para sa San Miguel. So here, the rookie up, Mark Kong, will be matched up against Ali Peek. So expect Coca-Cola to just uh, dump the ball there at the post to Ali Peek. Pero ang bola ngayon, na kay Rivis, babalik kay Miranda. Ayan na, bibigay na kay Peek. Peek, susubukan ng depensa ng bata na si Mark Kong. 
Beek will get the ball, but he will lose it. And here's Siegel on the move. Siegel on the run. Siegel, ah! Get the ball fake. Ang problema, pati si Adriano, ang kanyang teammate ay na-fake. Oh, kasi Danny Siegel couldn't decide whether to go for the shot or pass. And uh, pati tuloy si Adriano, eh. couldn't decide whether oh. to catch or run. Under four minutes to go in the first half. Miranda laban kay Rasela. Miranda goes to Rives. Rives iabot kay Arrigo. Tend to shoot para sa Coca-Cola. Arrigo at oh. home. There was a rejection on the part of San Miguel. But the Tigers get the ball back. Patuloy ang shot clock. Three to shoot. Arrigo fakes. Arrigo is hammered. And the ball goes to San Miguel. And the referee, uh, Boy Cruz, saying that uh, Danny Siegel did not violate the verticality of uh, John Arrigo. A great defense. I have to commend Danny Siga with that defensive play. Kanina nung naplaan ka niya itong si John Arrigo. Working hard on his uh, defensive game. Itong si Danny Siga. Here's Rasella on the right side. One point lead. Now blocked by Pete. Miranda on the run. Miranda has Rivas on the wings. Here's Arrigo. Connects. John Arrigo. Trouble passes coming from the Tigers. So this is that point coming from John Arrigo. Eight points para kay Arigo, and you have to enjoy how the Tigers are moving that ball around. That's right, and that's the philosophy I sinabi ni Coach Piki Fabi Stalina. They will just keep uh, moving that ball around until they find the open man. Also, just knock down a medium range jumper. Eight points, mayung uh, hapon para kay Danny I. Balik ang kalamangan sa San Miguel, 36 35. Two and 30 to go in the second quarter. Antonio. To Arigo in the corner. Tend to shoot para sa Coca-Cola. Arigo on the move. Arigo still has the ball. Here's Miranda. He cannot shake off Rasela. He fires. No goal. Air ball. Ball na kay Rasela. Rasela has Danny Siegel on the right. Oh, nice pass yeah. na kay Alfonso. Oh. But he could not score on the layup. And Rasela says, we have a new shot clock. Let's take our time. Ayusin natin ang ating atake dito. Here's Rasela. Hindi mabitawan ng bola Ngayon napunta kay Antonio At sabi ni John Nicolás Umigot-igot si Antonio na hawak ang bola This ballgame talaga yung mindset mo Is to really bounce back strong And that's what John Arrigo is doing right now Beerman holding on to a precarious one point lead Bola ngayon na kay Siegel Laban kay Rivas And that's what Rivas can do to you. That's right. And he's a very agile big man. He can keep up laterally, lateral movement uh, against guys like Danny Siegel. First personal on the rookie, Mark Kong. You know, the minute you saw Rivas in front of Danny Siegel, you knew that you knew that was trouble. That's right. And, uh, well, Danny Siegel tried to isolate against uh, Rafi Rivas, but very agile guy to Rafi Rivas. A minute and 19 to go in the second quarter. Lamang pa rin ang isa ang San Miguel, 36-35. Wala na kayong Defonso, pinasa sa loob, Mark Kong. No, sir, one more try. No! Oh, traveling ang tinawag. Just too many red shirts uh, waiting for Mark Kong inside. A good effort coming from the rookie. Dale Singson now quarterbacking para dito sa Coca-Cola. Under a minute to play in the second period. Arrigo. To Antonio. No. Natin bola. Babalik sa Coca-Cola. Turnover against uh, San Miguel. Mark Kong uh, sits down. Peña is back in the ball game. At uh, may timeout po. Para sa Coca-Cola, 30-second timeout here for uh, the Tigers. Down by 136 35 In a low-scoring ball game, which comes as no surprise. Yes, that's right. Remember, itong uh, San Miguel Beer held Barangay Hinebra to only 59 points in their last outing. So, a lot of wins to San Miguel has not really been pretty. In their first win, 
they had a career or season uh, high 33 turnovers so. but they still won in their last win naman they only shot about 32 34 percent from the field but they still won and they're they've been winning uh, because of their defense now also so so far the top two teams in the league right now have been uh, turning to their defense to win ball games and so uh, coca-cola well you know the philosophy of their coaching staff and the you, you play defense, and your defense will generate uh, offense, allowing Will Antonio to generate 10 points today. Antonio, ha, yung kanyang uh, shooting touch ay bumalik sa wakas. Yes. Because uh, possibly for the last two years, his shooting touch has been in limbo. That's right. Yung ang dami shooters rin dito eh, for the side of Coco. And right now, all their shooters, not only Will Antonio, have been uh, making their shots. Samo mo na dyan, sila Wainwright. As Ildefonso overshoots on Bola na Juan Uribez. Tigers with an opportunity to reclaim the lead. They're down by one with 22 seconds to go in the second quarter. Merong uh, apat na segundo na pagkakaiba sa pagitan ng shot clock at game clock. Singson looks at the shot clock and reads six. Dale Singson on the move with a getaway and he scores. Make a Samapang foul. Great yeah, crossover coming from uh, Dale Singson. Actually, in the earlier years of his career, was uh, known more as a guard who can post up his defenders. No? I remember when he was playing for uh, the Shell franchise, it was si Dale Singson. So, yung uh, talagang post threat for his team. The Dale Sings Singson showing us he can also uh, score. On an isolation play, he had much of it again. The confidence of the coach, Vicky Favis. You know, Dale Singson was a starting point guard for the Shell, and then he transferred over to San Miguel. He just could not uh, find a niche with the San Miguel Beermen, and then found himself shipped over to the Coca Cola Tigers. Who has been was called for a foul? Uh, is now part of the. Uh, capable uh, point guard rotation that includes Denok Miranda and Johnny Abarientos. Yeah, hey, parang big names talaga yung point guard rotation dito ng Kohola Tigers. We have a 30 second timeout. This time by the Beermen. Six seconds to go bago matapos ang first half. Ito po ay labanan ng dalawang mainit na kupunan. Uh oh! And ball goes out. And Il Defonso almost uh, running over uh, Richard Del Rosario at court side. And the ball, yeah. <laughs> Six tenths of a second to go. At dyan na po magtatapos. Mainit na kupunan. Ang pinakamainit na kupunan, wala pong kaduda-duda, ay ang Coca-Cola. Sila lamang ang wala pang talo. Uh, dito sa Philippine Cup, uh, leading the pack with three wins and no losses. Ang uh, San Miguel naman po, pumapangalawa. With two wins and one loss. However, yung kanilang dalawang panalo, uh, very impressive, Richard. That's right, oh. At uh, alam mo, dito sa game na ito, kung magpapatuloy yung ganitong style of play, ang magiging crucial dito yung execution of their half-court sets. Because back in the first half, eh, wala masyadong fast breaks itong dalawang kuponan. No? Itong uh, Coca-Cola only attempted three times uh, sa fast break. Itong, uh, I mean, San Miguel attempted, attempted three times, Coca-Cola attempted once. At uh, so far, two points lang na score in between, uh, between these teams. So, na po siya itong uh, takbuhang nangyayari. The Tigers begin the second half with rookie Denok Miranda, John Arigo, Rafi Rivas, Will Antonio, and Ali P. Antonio, pinasa ng team lapit si Peña. Big one-hander. He has mastered that turnaround uh, jump hook. Ito kay Ali P. Very difficult to defend yung ganong tira, ha? Seven points for uh, the Coca-Cola behemoth. San Miguel starts the third quarter with Don Don Ontiveros, Olsen Rosella, Danny Siegel, Dorian Peña, and Daniel DiFonso. Yeah, that's a good call against uh, Will Antonio. He was holding uh, it oh, Danny uh, Siegel, who was trying to post him up. His first team foul on the that is the matchup problem that uh, Danny Siegel will always create. Uh, you know, I, I talk to a lot of amateur players, a lot of scoring guards, 
and they're, they're, you know, their biggest fear uh, upon entering the PBA is how to match up with Danny Seager. That's right. No? Tsaka, Alma, even the, some of the coaches, whenever they draft new players, no? especially in a forward position, they would be looking at players who could probably uh, defend against Danny Seagal because he poses a lot of problems because of his height and tsaka, yung agility uh, in that uh, three position. Kasi nga ito si, si Danny, you can put him in the three position. You can also put him in the two position. That's right. Oo, oh, kaya-kaya niya. Because he's a big guy. He's about 6'5". Six, six, six and then, uh, very agile. He could shoot from the outside. He jump over you. He pulls you up. Kasi kung meron man, meron man mga players, sa amateurs, who are as tall as Seagull, pihado, they will not be as quick. Yes, because uh, normally they play the four and five position. That's why dito naman, pag i-match up kay Seagal, i-isolate naman sila nitong si Danny Seagal. Dorian Peña will be born for a loose ball foul. Second person. First uh, team foul happens to Beerman here in the second half. Back pass ni Antonio. Pitawan ni Rivas. Turnover laban sa Coca-Cola. The uh, turnover number six for the Coca-Cola Tigers. They did a good job of uh, taking care of the basketball in the first half. Tigers up by 240-38 in the early goings of the third period. Arigo, laban kayo ang Siveros. Pinasa kay Big, laban kay Il Diponso. Big makes a move. And Gilbert Kulanag says... Too much hand action on the part of Il Defonso. so that's going to be number three. And Daniel Defonso just turned his back on the referee. Gusto pa niyang tagapin yung bola sa frustration. Second team foul laban sa San Miguel. And just to stress the fact that this has been a highly defensive-oriented ball game. We've hardly seen any easy baskets on the part of both teams. That's right, you know, kasi ang ganda ng, ano eh, ng ball pressure na pinapakita ng both squads. Tsaka, you know that they've scouted each other very well. These two coaches know each other very well, their style of coaching. Kaya naman, uh, it all boils down talaga to execution pagdating sa kanilang office. Miranda. Suarigo, five to shoot. Grabe. Nadulas doon na si Arigo. At uh, siya'y tinawagan ng traveling violation. Oh, maganda nga yan kasi si uh, Don Don Ontiveros hindi kumagat doon sa fake. Kaya medyo na-off yung timing doon ni John Arigo. Uh, bear in mind si Ontiveros. Meron na pong apat na personal fouls. Nasa mga unang bahagi pa lamang tayo ng third quarter. Tinawagan ni Will Antonio si Chris Calagio. Who checked in for Danny Defonso. Pangalawang uh, beses siyang tinawagan of the same nature. Yung foul na yun, no? Holding foul by Will Antonio. This time naman, it was Chris Calagio coming out of a screen. That's going to be number three against Antonio. Six to shoot para sa San Miguel. Down by two. Oh, great fake. Great move. But everything but the shot for uh, Dorian Peña. Miranda to Antonio. Peak at the post. Peak with a twirl. Sumabra yung kanyang tira. Rivas offensive rebound. And he stretches for two points. One power dribble, then goes straight up. Produces two points for Rafi Rivas. Only the third point para kay Rivas. Pero mabibigyan niya ng four-point lead ang Coca-Cola, 42-38. With 8.08 to go in the third quarter. Bola, mapupunta kay Arrigo. Arrigo and the Tigers are on the attack. Arrigo fires and scores! Well, he had a lot of confidence taking that shot because nakita niya itong si Rafi Rivas was already there inside the paint for a possible offensive rebound. And Arrigo is in double figures with 10 points. Sa katunayan, siya ang leading scorer ngayon ng Coca-Cola. The Tigers now open up a 6-point lead, 44-38. But the uh, footer... At may 11 points na si Danny Siegel. That's right, Danny Siegel going to work after setting a good back screen. Receives the basketball and turns around for the jumper. 
pansamantalang nakamit ng Coca-Cola ang kanilang biggest lead of the game. Bago makashoot oh. si Siegel. So off the ball foul ang tatawag kay Danny Siegel, I believe. Falling down at number 42, Danny Siegel. So this is a... Malita ni Pao dito as a foul was called on Danny Siegel. His pangalan na yun ni Danny Siegel. Second, second personal foul. Here's Miranda. Nine to shoot para sa Coca-Cola. Miranda, nowhere to go. Got it. Lumapag na si Miranda before he was able to let go of the basketball. Nung araw ay tawag jumping yung tawag dyan nung araw. So apat pa rin ang hinahabol dito ng San Miguel Beerman, 44-40. As we hit the seven minute mark of the third quarter. Pasa ni Rasela na tapik ni Miranda. Ito San Miguel could go into that pick and roll play uh, in their offense. It has been uh, successful pag yan si Dorian Peña at saka si Danny Siegel ang involved dyan sa pick and roll play na yan. Rasela on the move. Outside, Siegel. He fakes. He goes right. Siegel all the way. No go. And that's an offensive oh. foul. And Siegel is really frustrated with that call. He's going at the referees, but he should watch it. Kumatawagan siya dito ng technical. Here's Wainwright to Rivas. Peña says, enough is enough. Let's uh, go and get a basket here. Beerman down by four. With six and a half to go in the third quarter. You know, that's a great read by Olsen Rosella on that defense by Koch. Kanina, no nag pick and roll sila, he knew that the defense would trap him as he goes out of the, of the screen. Pero this time, he split that double team in defense. At yun, natawagan ng foul tong Kohola. Very smart player uh, talaga ito si Olsen. Here's Calagio. Goes right. Rasella on the move. Rasella fall away. And the ball ends up with Rivas Peña at si Mamaril. Pagsak pareho. Here comes Miranda. Wayne right from the corner. Lamang po sila ng anin, 46-40. Tying their biggest lead of the ball game. The Beermen uh, running into a spate of uh, errors and uh, offensive fouls. You know, yun nga yung kailangan na yung iso dito ng San Miguel Beer. It's been the turnover, so it's been uh, really keeping this game close for them. They're dominating the boards, kaya nga lang, they've been turning the ball over a lot of times. On the floor right now for San Miguel. They have uh, Kablay, Rosella, Calagio, Peña, and Siegel. Siegel with a basketball. Laban kay Rivas. Calagio on the move. Nowhere to go. Pinasa kay Siegel. Siegel trying to score inside. Oh. Block. But a whistle is blown by Wilbert Kulanag. And I think, yes, they will call again, go against Rafi Rivas. That is his third personal foul. And uh, there, Coach Binky Favis, no, he's not embracing uh, Rafi Rivas because he misses him a lot. Pero kaya nga lang, talagang, uh, just really commenting the effort there shown by Rafi Rivas in trying to guard tung si Danny Siegel. Daniel Charles Siegel. Ilang beses na naging finals MVP ito para sa San Miguel. As he misses the second free throw. Kung kaya't lima pa rin ang abate ng Coca-Cola 46-41. With over five minutes to go in the third period. Wainwright, papasa kay Arigo. 
Miranda inaayos ang uh, offense na rito ng Coca-Cola. Miranda on the move. Bounce pass para kay Pamaril. Pamaril finds the rigo. And Wainwright shoots from the corner. Bola na huwa ni Peña. Beerman down by five. As Kablai slows things down for San Miguel. Rasela quickly met uh, by Miranda. Seven to shoot for San Miguel. Rasela goes to Calagio for three. Yes, sir. Cien tres pizza yun ang pago. Power to the people. A very patient execution there by the Beerman in that offense. That's why na libre do si Chris Calagio. And now they're putting some, uh, some uh, half-court pressure as they go back to a zone. But you look to defense dito na San Miguel. Let's see how Coke reacts. A stretch by Rivas will not work. Antonon San Miguel, they're knocking on the door, down by just two. A three-point basket could give San Miguel the lead in uh, this opportunity. 11 to shoot para sa San Miguel. Siegel may tanga ng bola. Siegel on the attack. He fails to tie the game. Peña wala pa rin. Peña one more try. Oh! Oh! Ayaw, ayaw talaga. Grabe ang power na pinapakita dito ni Dorian Peña. Really relentless on the offensive boards. And as long as wala dyan si Ali Peak, talaga si Peña is really crashing the boards. Si Mamarel ang tinawagan ng foul is fourth personal. Penalty na po ang uh, Coca-Cola sending Peña to the free throw line. Two free throws for Dorian Peña. Field goal of the night para sa, da, sa dating letranista na si Calagio as Peña takes the second free throw, one out of two. Para kay Peña, he has eight markers today. Isa na lamang ang abante ng Coca-Cola, 46-45, as we near the four-minute mark of the third quarter. Way to right. Mabalik kay Arrigo. Arrigo fires and scores. Arrigo. That's what we call a zone buster. Yung mga ganyan shooters, so si John Arrigo. And they also have uh, Robert Wainwright there. Provides scoring from the outside. Arrigo with 12 points today. Tatlo ang labang ng Coca-Cola, 48-45. Three and a half to go in the third quarter. Si Peek ang tatawagan ng foul. That's going to be number four against Peek na kababalik lang ha, sa ating ballgame. Yun nga, yun ang magiging malaking problema nitong uh, si Coach Pinky Favis as uh, Ali Peek and Billy Mamaril pareho nang merong apat na personal fouls. So, kaya naman na uh, every time down the floor, San Miguel exploiting that situation. Pagamat nagbiminti si Peña sa free throw line, meron naman siyang 12 rebounds. Wow, grabe, no? Actually, already had 9, no? At the turn. Pero more importantly, ma-handicap na itong front line ng Coke in defending against the big men. Or uh, even against the penetrations of San Miguel because of their foul situation. Si Peek has 4 personal fouls. Ganun din si Mamarin. Peek may tanga ng bola. 15 to shoot para sa Tigers. Bola na kay Abarientos. Abarientos. What will he do with the basketball? He goes to Rives. Rives lapang kay Danny Siegel. Ay, nako, yan po. Ang pang-apat na personal foul laban kay Siegel. Yan naman. Ito naman ang ibang problema ni Coach Jong Ichiko. Sa Danny Siegel naman. Siyo may kita yung parang chess match nitong uh, dalawang coaches eh, no? Alam nila yung game situation. Alam nila yung situation of fouls. And that's where they go to. That's where they attack on their offense. Singson, Pinaza kay Peek. Less than 10 to shoot para sa Coca-Cola. Abarientos to Singson. Singson won't hesitate. And connects with a TM3. Ating sa inyo, Pagong TM. Power to the people. And Coca-Cola is having a field day shooting from the outside. Dati, John Arigo lang maasama dyan. But now they have guys, even like Dale Singson, finding the range. Pasa ni Calagio na agaw ni Wainwright. Ano yung mga bati ng Coca-Cola? Pwede pa nila tagtagan. 
Janier for three. Yes, sir. Go, Johnny Go. Birds spot us a sudden again to uh, cut down Coca-Cola's lead to seven points, 54-47, as we hit the two-minute mark of the third quarter. Abarientos, laban kay Kablay. Abarientos, turn around. No. Regis with an offensive ball. One more try, wala pa rin. And here comes San Miguel. Adriano steps on the brakes and gives it over to Kablay. Pito, ang inaabol ng uh, San Miguel. No plays all along. Well, nobody uh, putting a body on makes Doble as it cut straight to the basket. And a good pass coming from Danny Ay. Noble, meron na pong six points off the bench para si San Miguel. Lima na lang ang hinahabol ng firme. Gilbert Lau is in the game for the first time para sa Coca-Cola. Six on laban ni Adriano. Five to shoot for the Tigers. There is the instinctive ability by Dale Singson to post up defense. Sabi natin, dyan rin siya nakilala when he was playing for Shell. Because he's a point guard who knows how to play the post. At kaya natawagan doon si Kiko Adriano. And what a difference a couple of three-pointers make. Ito po, bigla nagbago na ng depensa dito in San Miguel. They switch back to their man-to-man defense. There's uh, Coach ST, Shot Tankinsen of, uh, of Hinebra. On a uh, reconnaissance uh, mission. Coca Cola will face Hinebra uh, at the end of this month, uh, March 31, Friday. Corpunat in 56-49. We close in on the last minute of play in the third quarter. Lamang po ang Coca-Cola. Bola na kayo ni Fonso. Pinato para kay Calagio. No go. Adriano with an offensive rebound. One more try. And Adriano providing a spark here for San Miguel in the third quarter. And you know, in first shot niya, talaga he just bounced it off the rim. And he anticipated that bounce. Parang binigyan niya na assist yung sarili niya. Assist, rebound, and point. Eight to shoot para sa Coca-Cola. Abarientos fall away. Yes, sir. A vintage move coming from the flying A, Johnny Abarientos. Yung fall away na yan. Ito ang uh, lamang ng Coca-Cola. 58-51. Basket is no good para kay Danny Ay. At nauubos na po ang oras dito sa third quarter. Kung saan uh, umalagwa po ang Coca-Cola Tigers. Johnny A, laban kay Kablay, inabot kay Arigo. Arigo is thinking of that three-point shot. Arigo fires, no go. The ball is out of the team on your screens. Laban po ang Coca-Cola Tigers. Yeah, kita natin, no? Frontline battle. Defonso and Peña angat sa scoring, pero Rivas and Ali Peak angat naman sa rebounding. And one shot long ahead. So, a great battle we're seeing here at the front line. Welcome to the final quarter of play. Nagahabul po ang San Miguel sa pagpasok natin sa fourth quarter. Yeah, may kita may quarter scoring. No, nobody scoring beyond 20 points in each quarter. Kaya nga na kanina natin pa sinistress. It has been a defensive ball game all throughout. And just like the prolific career of my partner, Pahirapan, ang puntos. Ito sa ating labanan. It comes too few and far between, eh. Pero babawi ako. As you look at the third quarter field goals, eh, baka naman sabihin nyo, eh, hindi nakapuntos at all. Aba, hindi naman. Hindi naman. Uulitin natin, ha? In 262 games, Richard Del Rosario averaged close to two points per game. Para lang ba, nililinaw ko lang. Baka naman sabihin nyo, masyado kong... Mahihain lang talaga ako tumira. Tama. Pero in practice, lagi akong top score. If you include the round robin. Si Danny Ay, sinawagan ang kanyang pang-apat na personal foul. 
Marami na tayong mga malalaro dito ha, na may four personal fouls. Ha? So San Miguel, si Danny Siegel, Daniel Defonso, Don Donon Tiveros, uh, all have four personal fouls. Sa paring ng Coca-Cola, Ali Pick at si Billy Mamarin, may pick up at din. Singson on the move! Singson! Mabigat talaga when you have Dale Singson coming off the bench. His ability to post up and his ability to break down the defense. Saka yun na mabigat. I mean, the last ball game, it was Denok Miranda. Ngayon, nakistruggle Denok Miranda. Here comes Dale Singson now for the Coca-Cola Tigers. Habang pinupuri natin si Dale. This commits a turnover. Kaya yun ang nakakabilip ngayon with the Coca-Cola Tigers. That's why I'm not really surprised with their performance. No? Everybody, there's a different guy stepping up for the squad. Unlike before, you can only count about you know, two or maybe three players. Here's Abarientos. Starter step. Singson, ball fake. Singson hands it over to Johnny A. Dito sa mga unang bahagi ng fourth quarter, Mamarin jump from yes, sir. So these are, are guys coming off the bench for the Coca-Cola Tigers, and they're really doing a good job for Coach Binky Favis, extending this lead of uh, Pope to 11. Mamarin with nine points in the game. Ito na, pinakamalaking lamang ng Coca-Cola. Getting the loose balls and they're getting the clutch basket. Oh, nice pass! Nahulirin ni Simpson. Kanina pa niya, gustong bigyan ng magandang... Doing a good job actually. Ito si Will Antonio. 10 and 5. Nahabol po dito sa fourth quarter ang San Miguel Beermen. Looking for their third win dito sa Grand Matador Philippine Cup. At yung bola na punta kay Peña, reach and foul against Coca-Cola. This is going to be the fifth person na laban kay uh, Billy Mamaril as we go over to Eric Reyes. Well, Miko, in that last timeout, ang napapag-usapan talaga over at San Miguel is really the spacing of their offense. Masyado silang dikit-dikit on their offense. That's why Coke can just collapse and simply steal the ball from them and it's off to the races. That's why it's very important for them right now, according to Coach John Chico, to really execute their offense very well. Still go to the post, but kailangan-kailangan talaga yung proper spacing. Back to you, Miko and Richard. Well, they tried to go to the post that time, kaya nga lang natawagan ng offensive foul. Ito si Danny Siegel, and that will be his fifth personal foul. Hanggang ngayon, nakinakausap pa rin ni Danny Siegel, si Crew Chief Boy Cruz. That's Coach John Wichigo so far, not making any move to replace Danny Siegel, so taking a gamble here. Six on for three. Yes, sir! PM3 sa tinsay niyo ng bagong PM, power to the people. Umuulan po ng three-point uh, baskets para sa Coca-Cola here in the second half. And that is the 13th point of Dale Singson. Kelly Singson! Bagamat pumasok yung tira ni Siegel, it's still an imposing 14-point uh, lead para dito sa Coca-Cola. Singson directing the offense. Davis, entry pass, Mamaril, no go. Bola na punta kay Peña. Peña, tinamaan pa yata ha, sa lalabunan. As we close in on the eight-minute mark of the final quarter, power play by Danny I nets him a foul. Yes, at tinangay ni report ni Eric, they want to go to the post. And uh, that's really the you know, one style of play of San Miguel. They like to dump the ball there at the post uh, to create openings for their shooters once the defense collapses. Kaya sinestress yun ni Coach Jong Wichiko na ang importante yung spacing nila on their offense. Si Billy Mamarel just fouled out of this ball game. He leaves the contest with the nine points. Two free throws for Mary Gilgamoso. Ali Peek, uh, pinalitan po yung pwesto ni uh, Mamaril on the court. First free throw. Is... So 
So Daniel Defonso is now in double figures with 10 points. Ang problema, double figures din. Yung lamang ng Coca-Cola, 67, 55. Here's Daniel Defonso, and he scores a goal. Well, this is something that you don't really see for, from the San Miguel beer men. Yung kanila full court press on that side. Back to the game, Antonio goes to Miranda. Miranda has a shot here. He takes it, but he won't make it. And the ball ends up with win Antonio. Hustle play there coming from Antonio. Here's Arigo. He fires and he won't score. Ali Peak almost getting the rebound. And uh, Rosella now on the, on the attack for San Miguel. They're trying to erase a 10-point deficit. Danny Siegel scores high for his 16th marker of the ball game. Leaving nothing to chance at that time. Danny Siegel making sure he'll be getting his two points. Umahabol po dito ang San Miguel. Here's Arigo. He fires. He won't score. Rebound para kay Antifonso. It's a San Miguel rally here in the final quarter. They're down by eight points. 67-59 as we near the seven-minute mark of the payoff period. Ito na si Torya Petra. And the pyramid are banging on the door. Down by just six points. And they're getting their energy from their pressing defense. They're forcing, uh, well, the previous play, they're forcing Coca-Cola to take quick shots at the basket. Kaya sila nakakahabol dito. Miranda. Throwing the ball over to Antonio. Six to shoot para sa Coca-Cola. Miranda. Can't shake off Fontiveros. Here's Antonio. No goal. Another rebound para kay Peña. Another chance for San Miguel to inch closer. Beermen are down by just six. They were down by as many as 16 points moments ago. Wala na kay Indifonso. With a spin. And he loses the ball. Here's Miranda. Arigo won't pull the trigger here. Nagamitin po nila yung kanilang shaka. We near the halfway mark of the final quarter. Ibigay nila yung bola kay Pink with seven to shoot. Pink will make his move. Laban kay Peña. Pinasa kay Miranda. The rookie goes to Rivas. And Rivas will score as they beat the shot clock. Yeah, just in time. On that pass by uh, Dennis Miranda. Saktong-sakto. Kung kaya't uh, balik sa walo ang uh, abante ng Coca-Cola, 69-61. Rasela. Montiveros for three. No. Peña offensive rebound. He will muscle his way through. And here the Monzo cleans it up for the putback. So ayaw magpaiwan dito. Na. Siegel trying to lead this uh, San Miguel comeback in the fourth quarter. Uh, balak naman nila Arigo pigilan sa itong pakaalsa ng uh, San Miguel in the hopes of scoring their fourth consecutive win dito sa Grand Matador Philippine Cup. Tandaan po natin, wala pa pong talo ang uh, Coca-Cola dito sa ating uh, tournament. Here's Arigo on that press break. Arigo and Ali Pigas. And he wanted to bring that goal down with him. Ito si Ari Peak with an emphatic slam. Balik na naman sa walo ang abate ng Coca-Cola. Paano naman sasagot dito ang San Miguel? Bola na kay Daniel Defonso. Il Defonso converts. A great patience shown there by Daniel Defonso. Realized that there was no double team coming. Kaya pinagsagaan nilang niya yun. Danny Ay has scored 8 of his 16 points in the 4th quarter. Pero lamang pa rin ang maanim ang Coca-Cola 71-65. Johnny A on the move against Rasella. Johnny A with a getaway on Sumobra. And Peña clears the rebound for San Miguel. Salagio, he fires! Short. Siegel and Antonio are on the deck. Rasella for three. Yes, sir. PM press and it's a new battle team. Power to the people. And you also have to give credit to Daniel Defonso for that. He read the defense very well. No nagsag down to help si Johnny Barrientos. One kick out to Olsen and three points. Ang nabigay sa San Miguel. It's just a three-point ball game. 
At uh, binabantayan din natin ng gusto, ha? itong matchup ni Antonio at Isigit dahil kanina pa sila nagtutulakan sa ilalim. Here's Arigo. Arigo from Aurora Boulevard. No go. Sigo with a rebound and an opportunity here for the Beermen to uh, trim down this three-point deficit. Il Defonso has been instrumental in the San Miguel comeback and he scores again! Wow! Big basket from Danny Il Defonso. Five minutes. Nakala natin kanina, lumaki na lumaki yung kalambangan dito lang ko. Kakala natin eh, kontrolado kontrolado na nila. As we see here the numbers of Daniel Defonso exploding for 10 points in this quarter. For uh, 18 total and 8 rebounds. So another possible double-double performance here from the former MVP. And now the Tigers are embattled at this stage of the ball game. A near steal there by uh, Ontiveros as Arigo gets the leather for Coca-Cola. He gives it to Johnny A. Tigers up by one precarious point. Peak. That's an effective foul. Yes, he called it right as uh, Dor Dorian Peña just flew away. Pero alam mo, itong uh, ginagawa, kinugulat, coming off that timeout, kinulat bigla ng uh, San Miguel ito Coke with that zone defense kasi inisip nila that uh, Coke will be mapping out the strategy on a man-to-man -man defense. So, great uh, job there by the San Miguel Beer coaching staff. It's Rosello, Ontiveros, Peña, Malagio, and the man in the middle, Danny Ildefonso. He has been the man of the moment for San Miguel here in the final quarter. Si Wayne Wright, tatawagan ng foul. Either team in the penalty here in the fourth and final quarter. Three minutes and one second remaining in the ball game, and we certainly have a ball game here. The score picked at 71-70 in favor of uh, Coca-Cola. Momentum, however, is clearly on San Miguel's side. Bola na kayo, Defonso. That's going to be a traveling violation. And now, si Coach Pinky Fabio Samana nag-adjust dito. As he put in two ball handlers, the persons of uh, Dale Singson and then of Miranda, to try to break this press better. Coca-Cola trying to keep their win-loss record immaculate here in the Philippine Cup. Simpson, Lamang Iracela, eight to shoot. Yung kanyang pass sa loob, natapik ni Calabio. Tuloy-tuloy ang shot clock dito, three to shoot. Miranda fires, no go! Hindi tumama sa ring yung tira ni Miranda, kaya naubos yung shot clock ng Coca-Cola. Well, he wasn't really squared up for that basket. He was just forced to put that one up. Dahil nga wala nang oras. Ito na po ang pagkakataon para lumamang ang San Miguel. Kung makabutos po sila dito sa kanilang opensiba. Bola na kay Il Defonso. The hottest man on the court for San Miguel here in the final quarter. Oh, what a block by Pete. One more try, wala pa rin. Ang bola na Juan Irigis. At uh, sabi, ng, uh, sabi ni Wilbert Kulanag, it's last touch on Peña. Kahit anong reklamo ng buong bench ng San Miguel, ang bola po ay pupunta sa Coca-Cola Tigers. So ang ganda panoori yung battle uh, of the boards, no? Yung mga big men really bagging bodies that time trying to get that basketball. Nasa loob na po tayo ng last two minutes. Here in the fourth quarter, Miranda to Arigo. Arigo. You like the aggressive play of the rookie, Dennis Miranda, setting up Arigo for that layup. And they attack that press. That's the only way you can stop the press, is by attacking it. Uh, every time you can score quick baskets, titigil na impressing defense later on. Rasella, no go. Three points ang lamang ng Coca-Cola as Arigo clears the rebound. A minute and 27 to go in the ball game. Rigo, Miranda. 
rookie out of FUU uh, displaying steady nerves. There's Pink, spins, and misses. Rebound for uh, Ontiveros. Here's Rosella, nakatingin kay Calagio. And then Rosella will uh, step back here. It's sabi niya, Tega, anam tayo ng mga magandang scoring opportunity dito. He want to go to Danny I. Rosella uses the pick. He goes to Will Defonso. He can fire. Calagio fakes. Calagi goes to Dogdon. Dogdon for three. No go. Napalakas. Offensive rebound para kay Calagio. At uh, humingi po ng timeout. Si uh, Jong Wichigo. Oh, what action. Now, bigla nag-pick up your action. Now, dito in the fourth. After this, a big rally by San Miguel. Pero po, Kola, keeping their composure as a team. At uh, being rattled by this big run. Rosella will start to play here. Inanap si Peña. Peña, ibabalik kay Rosella. 40 seconds to go in the ball game. Wala pa sa penalty ang dalawang upunan. It's an interesting defensive strategy here by Coca-Cola. They're now putting... Will Antonio on uh, Daniel Dufonso. At si Rivis ang uh, tumatao dito kay uh, Danny, Siegel. Danny Siegel. Here's Siegel. Fourth three. No go. At yung bola. Uba na huwag pa yata ni Peña. And they'll call a uh, jump here. I don't know about that. That was a quick uh, three-point shot taken by Danny Siegel. They still have, had about 17 seconds in their shot clock. Three points ang lamang ng Coca-Cola. A lot of time. Only a one possession ball game. Malaking bagay itong jump ball na to. Oo. 33.9 seconds to go in the ball game. Muli po kami nagagalak na makasalo kayo ngayong linggo ng gabi. Nico Halili kasama si Richard Del Rosario, Eric Reyes, and Peaches Abirin. Bringing you live action from the Big Dome. Coca-Cola versus San Miguel. It's Miranda against Peña. And the ball goes to Rasella. At agad-agad, humingi ng timeout. Quarter. Scoring 10 points in the payoff period to fuel the San Miguel rally. Right now, the Beermen are down by 3, 73-70. Bola nila, 29 seconds to go. And oh. Defonso gets away inside. And he has 20 points tonight. 12 coming in the fourth quarter. At isa na lamang ang abante ng Coca-Cola, 73-72. Okay, take a look. Sean, you start out here. Okay, you start out here. Okay, Ali, uh, Rafi, okay, okay, you, Rafi, you start out here, okay, you start out here deep, okay, okay, but set up there, skin here for John, oh no, so, sorry, 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 Dave, okay, Dave, okay, you set up there, skin here for John, Satan, okay, now take a look at this, Denok, huh? oh, take a look at this, Denok, if it's open, get the ball to him, okay, okay, Ali, okay, you just get here deep, Okay, Rafi, you get here deep. Okay, just take a double screen. Now, okay, Dale, pag kuha mo ng bola rito, pagka filler screen, kailangan maging available ka rito. Now, now, okay, if you get it here, okay, alam mo, tutuboling ka. John, be available here, ha, on the pot. It's important first for the Coca-Cola Tigers to get the ball in bounds. And San Miguel has a tendency on the inbound play to trap the person receiving the inbounds pass. So it's important, katulad sina sabi ni Coach Binky Fabis, na somebody has to be available to bail out his, uh, the, the person receiving that inbounds pass. Although San Miguel here will still try to go for a steal first before they foul. They have four fouls to give before they land in the penalty. Ayun na nga, yung first pass ni Double Team Kagad. So, quick ball movement ang pinakita doon ng Coca-Cola Tigers. Well, titignan din natin dito yung strategic use of the four uh, fouls that San Miguel give. Now, they can give up three fouls. Oh, really a dangerous pass yes. issued by Rivas. Nakakuha ni Miranda. 
Gusto yung pangyayari dyan, yung uh, person na tatanggap ng ball on the inbounds, they'll try to trap him to force him to a ball hogging violation. As we see, Don Don Veros foul out. Kaya doon sa exit pass, kailangan meron na kagad mag-rotate on defense for San Miguel. And uh, Coke just trying to make sure na merong guy available to help the guy that's being trapped. Go! Ngayon ay trap. Ayun! <laughs> Yun yung sinasabi natin, oh, ball hogging oh, violation. And uh, no protestations coming from uh, Big Ifabis. Uh, gulantang po si uh, Rafi Rivis doon. Well, uh, Coach Pinky Fab is opting to uh, go uh, go beyond uh, that uh, play and uh, prepare for this defensive stand. Dahil uh, may pagkakataon po ang uh, San Miguel na makuha ang uh, lamang with this play. 17 seconds to go. Neither team is in the penalty. Ang San Miguel, uh, wala na pong time out. So they could very well be going for uh, the winning basket here with 17 seconds to go. Patay na po ang shot clock dito. As Rosella oh, loses the ball. Wow. What a tough break. I think for both teams, eh, no? San Miguel Birmen. Kanina, tough break for Coke, now tough break for San Miguel. But they have to realize they still have a chance here. They still have time, 14 seconds. All they can uh, hope for is a stealer. Once they get a ball in, in bounces to foul. Well, they have to give up uh, two more fouls to send the Coca Cola Tiger to the line. It's only the fourth team foul up to San Miguel. Pinasok na ni Coach uh, Jong yung mga mabibilis who can react to uh, the pass and then foul oh, given up by Olsen Rosella. So the next foul will uh, send the Tigers to the line. So sinong patatanggapin nila dito? Oh, problema to. Nako. Okay, isa pa. Oh, okay, isa pa. Okay, isa pa time out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> last two plays, so be ready for anything. <laughs> so with 12.5 seconds remaining in the moment of truth, crucial inbound po ito para sa Coca-Cola. San Miguel is in the penalty. Wala na pong timeouts ang dalawang kupunan. And doing the inbounding chores is rookie Derok Miranda who is joined by Antonio, Singson, Arigo, and Peak. Ang tanong, kanino mapupunta ang inbound? Sino ang papupunta sa free throw line? Miranda. Binigay kay Arigo at si Arigo ang siyang tutungo sa free throw line to try and give the Tigers a three-point lead with 11 and a half seconds to go. And you know, John Arrigo, I, I know this guy. He loves this kinds of situations. He really wants to get the ball in the end game with a chance to ice this ball game. We have his numbers, 14 points. Three rebounds. Going to the line just once. Missing it. So let's see how we will handle the pressure. Excited talaga si Arigo na makabawi doon sa kanyang huling laro kung saan hindi uh, po siya nakapuntos. There's free throw. So you have to remember, even if Arigo makes this, it's only a one possession ball game. 11 seconds left. A lot of time for San Miguel to bring the ball down court. Yun nga lang, wala na silang timeout. So, anuman mangyari dito, tuloy-tuloy tayo dahil wala ng timeouts ang dalawang kupunan. Although, the Tigers can give up one more foul. Tama ha? yan, oo. Oh. Pasok ang pangalawang free throw ni Arigo. Tuloy-tuloy tayo. Three-point ball game, 75-72 in favor of Coca-Cola. 
Kaplai has the ball. Kaplai cannot shoot. He goes to Peña. Rasella to oh. Il Defonso. And Il Defonso will miss. And the Tigers remain.